space to get his head up and look for Iniesta and look for Messi in those dangerous areas. And United are in a little bit of trouble. Here is Xavi, he's the man who spins the wheel. Daniel Alves, halted by Park. But it's a rather wasteful, desperate ball downfield this time, just relieving the growing pressure. Yeah, that's what happens when you're chasing and all of a sudden you're finding it difficult to gain possession when you get it. The options are limited, you never got enough to hit and then you, they turn the ball over again and they're coming back at you. As Chavio keeps the ball circulating, sets the rhythm, controls the flow. A man you've got to get to, but somehow nobody is ever able to. Bus gets to Iniesta. Messi, Xavi. Can't be allowed to turn. Look how deep Messi comes. It is Park who's got to get past this time, and he does. Xavi, Abidal is on the way forward. Instead, it's David Villa. He goes for goal. It's just why. But Barcelona have both of their fullbacks in advanced positions. Villa actually had options right and left if he'd wanted them. He did, Clive, but as soon as he receives the ball here, David Villa, you just get the sense he, all he wants to do is just get that on at the right foot and, and try and test Edwin van der Sar. Neither Villa nor Petro have really been among the goals in the last couple of months. Messi hasn't scored in his last four games. Never scored in England. I don't know if that's good news or bad news, though. Here he is. On towards Villa. Wrestles with Ferdinand. Play allowed to go on. Lionel Messi. Important challenge. Manchester United living on their nerves a little bit now. Hernandez has gone too early and he's becoming isolated. Yeah, and they're trying to find him too early, Clive. Again there, Park has options. He could look infield for Wayne Rooney. Yes, we want to see United have a sting in their tail, but don't give possession away too easy, otherwise it's coming straight back at you in numbers. Pedro. Iniesta. Xavi, slipped into Villa, it's a good shot, the side just managed to get everything behind it, two attempts on goal in as many minutes from David Villa. Yeah, and all the intricacies of their play with Iniesta and Messi, but when Villa gets it, he just shifts it half a yard and looking to just work the goalkeeper every time, hitting the target again there, never too far away from the goals. First ten minutes belong to Manchester United, the second ten minutes, as you can see, have belonged to Barcelona. Clearly there, so Alex is saying when we have possession, we have to pose more of a threat through the wider areas. Valencia really hasn't had a chance yet to get the ball down and really set Abidal up. Park as well is having to play half and half, trying to keep an eye on Danny Elvis, but lend a hand to Carrick and Giggs. Villa, who's playing in a more central role perhaps than Manchester United might have expected. Petro. More often than not, comes to the right-hand side, is on the left. Messi here is very deep, and Villa is playing right up against Vidic and Ferdinand for the most part. Here's Iniesta. Slipped into the path of Lionel Messi, terrific challenge by Vidic. Great tackle. Probably a goal-saving challenge. Here's Rooney, trying to run Daniel, uh, uh, Javier Mascherano, who recovered. But a lift for the Manchester United support, they haven't had one for a while. Stunning challenge from Romani Vidic, really was. And good to see Rooney as soon as United have the chance to counter that he does so. Park. PK comes across to cover. Barcelona with a measure of control now. Xavi to Busquets. Vidic is there again, set an example. Giggs though, wasteful. Quarter of the match gone already, it's a fascinating contest.
Abida. Petro. Xavi. Mascherano. It's Danny Alves. We got an early possession statistic about five minutes ago. It was already strongly in Barcelona's favour. It will have swung even more for the Spanish champions since then. Well, they dominating do, the ball. Yeah, they do this a lot, Clark, because they're looking to try and draw you out. They want to tease you out of position to then try and give someone the space, as Abidal has now. Then when they get to this area, this 30, 40 yards from goal, that's where you have to be very switched on and very alive. Particularly when Lionel Messi has the ball. Here's Xavi just trying to flick it into the path of Villa. Rooney, Manchester United have got to get a hold of it and keep it and string together half a dozen passes of their own. Fabio, and where Rooney is. The Barcelona are as good without the ball as they are with it. They press high and they press in numbers. Rooney's pass was loose and Giggs couldn't fasten on to it and Villa has found Messi good tackle by Ferdinand this time but it's all a little last ditch yeah what a massive challenge from Rio Ferdinand just overplaying a little bit too much there United Ryan Giggs just a little bit too casual give it away he is less than pleased Hernandez trying to change the mood we had two men in the box there beyond Busquets. Both Park and Rooney had stolen into good positions. First goal's going to have a big impact on this match tonight. Yeah. You don't want to go one down to this side because you then start to chase it, you then start to, to get a little bit desperate, and that's when they really can pick you off. Displaced pass from Chabby, you won't see too many of those tonight. Gick seized upon it. This is Park. Carrick. Good use of the ball from him, encouraging Fabio to come forward. Valencia. Valencia with a first chance to run at Abidal, but immediately double teamed. Turned by Fabio. Good work by Villa, who came all the way back with him. Iniesta has kept it in. Rooney's turn to chase back. Giggs. It's in towards Hernandez, headed away by Pique. Petro. Tackled by Valencia. You know, just trying to restore some parity to the game. Yeah. This is what Barcelona's game quite is the speed, the precision with, with which they play. They play with United have to find a little bit more of that in the last third. At the moment, I think that that's what Sir Alex wants and set a team up to go and give Barcelona something to think about when they have enough possession. Not done it enough yet. Xavi. Slip through. Chance for Pedro! Breakthrough for Barcelona. It has been coming. Pedro Rodriguez. And Manchester United are going to have to come from behind if they are to win the Champions League tonight. It's too easy. I mean, those passes aren't that quick or that slick. There's just too much room there afforded to top players. And Pedro, again, the first touch is brilliant. The head up. And he just waits for Van der Sar to commit and go one way. And he's just going to drop it in the other corner. But from a United perspective, that is all too easy. They have to get tighter to people there. It's a brilliant goal. It's a cool, calculated finish from Pedro. I think Pep Guardiola knows just how important the opening goal of this final was likely to be. And Pedro Rodriguez, a World Cup winner with Spain, has scored it. Down goes Busquets, caught by Valencia.